his ideology. The Zionist for them is the return to Zion. It's the return to their homeland. And for us, the Palestinians, the law of return, which we are entitled and which the Jews are depriving us to come to our lands, is the same law of return. So both nationalism should coexist side by side. We know the Jewish values. And we know the suffering of the Jews. I used to teach about it. And we know about the uniqueness of the Jewish history. And you get so furious to see that the Jews with all this history, rich, unique history, have decided all of a sudden to be politically blind and to lose the uniqueness of this brilliant, courageous history. It would be nice to believe that uh, a people who has been through the Holocaust uh, would be better than um, other peoples. But of course, this is uh, a naive idea. A, children, a child, a person who has been beaten when he was a child does not become a better person. He becomes a more aggressive person, generally. Now, the Palestinians have uh, the singular misfortune, I would say, of being the victim of the victims. We are afraid for our survival, of course, but it's not because of the Holocaust. I mean, I don't think we can be exterminated here in Israel or pushed into the sea if we really managed our lives differently, really thinking about the future. What we're doing now, we're living from one, one day to the other. I mean, if we survive today, it's fine. Tomorrow, we're going to find another solution. When we got the land here back, it was the Six-Day War, which was forced upon us. We were attacked. They attacked us. We won. And we, we have the land, which was part of our, this is part of Eretz Israel. I mean, obviously, I think so. I live here. It's always been part of Eretz Israel. And obviously, we are not interested in a Palestinian state here. They forced the war upon us, and they lost. This is apart from demolishing houses, apart from confiscating water, apart from witnessing all the massacres, all the bad treatment your people is passing through every day and every night, apart from the fear. The Antifada is it's a Palestinian response to 20 years of living under occupation, to 20 years of being abandoned and left alone by the international community. And it's a message of peace. And it's a message that the Palestinians who decided with the stone, the oldest technology the human possessed, knowing that Israel possessed the most advanced technology in our age, to launch satellites in space, to tell the Israelis and to tell the world, kill me or free me. Maybe it's a very strong action, but it's even a desperate, because when a child of five years or 10 years throw a stone in front of a jeep or a very big soldier with guns, this is a suicide. Then the incident, three times, 
يعني تبهدلنا كثير الحمد لله ومن اول الاحتلال لغايه هالحين يعني ما نمناش ولا ليله مرتاحين زي الناس ليله بنقول هالحين بيجي يكسروا الباب الحين باخذوا فلان الحين باخذوا يعني كل ليله كل ليله بنضل كلكنين بهذا الطريقه فالانتفاضه ممكن تحقق السلام والشغلات اللي احنا بنتمناها من زمان للشعب الفلسطيني كدولة فلسطينية مستقلة لجميع الشعب الفلسطيني على أساس نرتاح كشعب فلسطين موجودين. Without the Intifada, the Israelis would prefer to continue the status quo, which was we all of us were used to live with it for many years since '67. The average Israeli is having normal life in Tel Aviv. Now it's uh, summer, so he's uh, going to the beach, having fun with his family, handling a normal life. But when he's serving as a soldier in the occupied territories, act in a different way to the young Palestinians. I never dream I'll have a son serving in the occupied territories. It's a nightmare for me and for him. The feeling that he might find himself in a position of arresting or beating up Arabs, it's a terrible feeling for him and for me. And I feel criminal, really, sending one son and probably the second into an army I don't believe it in at all, playing chess on a, on a board ran by idiots and people I don't trust a bit. And I'm guilty because I'm not doing anything. First of all, I'm against occupation because I share with the Palestinian universal values of justice and of rights, of uh, self-determination, national rights. Secondly, I'm against occupation because it's the most evil enemy to Israeli society. It threatens Israeli society. It is a cover for repressing democratic rights in Israel, repressing Palestinians inside Israel. A state can't conquer another uh, country, another people, without being itself conquered by a fascist regime. regime. And Israel is going very fast, fast towards a, being a fascist regime because of the occupation. Israel is a very small uh, country. Uh, Israel, without the territories, is about the size of less than Rhode Island, which is the smallest uh, state in the Union, in America. Uh, Israel has very long uh, borders. Uh, if Israel goes back to 67, at certain points north of Tel Aviv, the whole uh, width of the country is going to be no more than uh, nine miles. Uh, it's uh, very difficult uh, to uh, provide adequate defense uh, for the population of Israel. עשר שנים יש שלום, אף חייל ישראלי לא נאבק על הגבול המצרי. שלישית, וזה הדבר החשוב ביותר לפי דעתי, סוף סוף, מי שישמור על ביטחונה של ישראל, זה דווקא המדינה הפלסטינאית. מכאן אנחנו נהיה חלק בלתי נפרד מאזור המזרח התיכון ביחסי שלום. וכל הדיבור הזה שהמדינה הפלסטינאית היא מפחידה והיא מסכנת, אין לזה שחר, זה נימוק כדי לא לעשות שלום. Palestinians use knives now, and maybe we'll use guns in the future. And Israelis will retaliate with guns and knives and whatever. So we are witnessing both Palestinians and Israelis going towards a sea of blood. I know that we will sink in such seas. Shamir thinks that he can swim, and that's his strategic mistake. We may assume some calculated risks in order to get into the process, but we are not in the business of committing national suicide. Sorry about that. Mutual trust can, must begin around the peace table. There's no trust. We don't trust them, they don't trust us. We have been in a state of war for 40 years. 
You cannot expect anybody to trust anybody after 40 years of year for four. This is why, the, why we should sit down and talk. If we are not going to have a solution of the two states, two people living side by side with, with each other, we are going to have a symmetry for both of us in this area. We are going to kill each other. مشيها زي ما تكون تكون. الحمد لله النصر من عند الله. والله بنطلب احنا النصر من عند ربنا. من عند الله. وربنا يصلح الحال في الحال ونقول ربنا يصلحنا احنا وياهم مع بعضنا نستعيش من يزيد العالم. ونمرقوا نطلع هم ويمرقوا نطلع وربنا يصلح وينزل ربنا الرحمه ما بيننا وبينهم. احنا بنطلب الرحمه ما بيننا وبينهم ويطلبوا. ما تضل الدنيا زي هيك. <تصفيق> 